I didn't write my spiel. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? I'm going to have to go up my notes today. Oh, uh, that's okay. Let's see what we got. I don't even know if anybody's going to find this because nobody's tagged on this. I tagged everybody on a different post. Welcome to the replay. Um, yeah, this is daily fuel when I'm running around like a nut the whole day and everything happens. Here I am. I'm live right here. And let me turn this sound off and hopefully people start finding it because nobody's tagged on this one. Everyone's tagged on a different post. Uh, so... Welcome to the replay. Um, my name is Bobby and this is Daily Fuel. And uh, you're in the replay because nobody knows that I'm here because uh, I'm in the wrong post. But um, if you're watching in the replay, thank you. And let me know that you're here. Right? Hashtag replay. Hashtag replay person. There goes my oil burner. I'm just a complete mess today. Um, this should be very interesting. So uh, I see some people are showing up live. If you're showing up live, do me a favor, just let me know that you're here and uh, write a comment so that I can see you. And it says Amy is watching. So Amy, you found it. Hopefully other people watch it. And hi, furry little beings, been busy today. Yes, and Richard's here. Hola, hello Richard and Amy is here. Yeah, you guys found it. So uh, yeah, so I had my post scheduled for 6.15 and I'm running late. And uh, apparently, if you wait 10 minutes, Ecamm just turns it off. Yeah, yeah, you're late. You're late. You're late. So, you know, 10 minutes is plenty of time. You're either doing the live or you're not. So, you know, it, it, it was gone. So, anyway, uh, I had to start a new live. Here I am. Robin is here. Hi, Robin. Okay, guys, let's. Uh, I'll just. I'll get started. If people want to come, they'll find it. Uh, I'm just. Actually, I'm going to tell you a story first. Uh, yesterday I told you my car, uh, my wife was out with the car and uh, she got in the car, it wouldn't start. Uh, AAA came, uh, they couldn't fix it. Uh, apparently it was the starter. So uh, it had to get towed. So the tow truck came and towed it to the garage. Luckily all of this stuff is within a mile of my house. So uh, the, the, the store my wife was at was a mile in one direction and the garage is a mile in the other direction. And the tow truck driver drove me the two miles from the store to the garage. and. Uh, and then I walked home. So today, uh, find out the, the car, the, they can fix the starter, they did. Um, but I mentioned yesterday that I'm trying to see things like this as a gift from the universe that maybe I don't know what the gift is yet. Well, I found out what the gift was today. It turns out there was another problem with the car that was uh, pretty bad and needed to be fixed, but I didn't know that it was bad. And uh, it's a good thing that we fixed it because it could have been you know, end of the car, catastrophic. And uh, and they were like, oh, we, we got it just in time. And uh, so they fixed that too. And so apparently the universe has been telling me, hey, why don't you get this checked? Because I knew there was a thing, but you know, today's not a good day. It's cold out, bleh, right? And, uh, and then finally the universe was like, you know what? You're bringing this to the garage. It just doesn't start. And no choice. The universe has your back. I keep saying that the universe has your back, even though sometimes having your back means your car doesn't start and it's inconvenient. Well, that was inconvenient, but the car completely being totaled because we didn't fix this other thing would have been really inconvenient. So today, 24 hours later, our car is good as new, and uh, that's that. So let's get started with our thing. Hi. Uh, yeah, I don't have my spiel. I forgot to write it out, so I got to go by. Uh, luckily, I take some notes earlier in the day of what I want to say. So I want to talk about attracting an audience today. Um, we're, we're doing business and audience attraction this week, so we've already covered having confidence in your own self, and then uh, something else that I did yesterday. I don't remember what it was. So, <laughs> so uh, audience attraction clearly is important because in order to have a business or to have an audience for your art, you need people, human beings who are your audience, who like what you do, who surround you and support you and, you know, buy your crap. So that would be nice. Um, but how do we get them? How do we get them? You know, so far we've been talking about the mindset you need to create your own uh, space, your own vision. Oh, vision, that's what it was. Uh, create your own vision and create your own, uh, you know, picture and, and get the confidence in your own self. And then you exude that, you project that, and that attracts the people around you, right? And that's all well and good, except you got to do some work too. There's action involved in this as well. So today I want to talk about some of that action. So, um, Number one is 
you know, what do you, what do you want to do? Do you, do you want to do stuff on social media? If, if yes, then which one? Should I be on Twitter? Should I be on YouTube? Should I be on Facebook? And I got to tell you, I, I don't care. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, there is no right or wrong answer. You can be on all of them if you want. You can be on one of them. You know, I have chosen to run a Facebook group. That's, I just have said, you know, like, I'm really good at this. I enjoy this and I'm going to do this. And I have a Twitter account. I have an Instagram. I have a YouTube channel. And I've even tried to get uh, ambitious with the YouTube channel uh, in the past. But uh, I find that run, the way that I do things in a Facebook group just flows for me and people actually show up to this as opposed to the YouTube channel you know so uh, here 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 is my uh, advice to you about what social media platform to, to do pick one that you like that works for you if you're not sure dabble a little bit but here are the rules you have to do it consistently you have to do it consistently meaning that uh, you know, if you can post once a week, then post once a week, but do it. If you uh, want to post every day, great, but do it. You've even seen me flounder on this. I was doing Daily Fuel every day in the beginning of this group, and then about a month or so ago, I was like, I, I got to pause this, you know, and I, I kind of got ahead of myself with it. And then really what happened was, it's not that I couldn't do it. It's It was more that I didn't know where I was going with it. So once I figured out where I was going with it, that's when I said, yes, I'm going to commit to this and I'm doing it because now I have an actual vision for a business before it was I had an idea for a group and I didn't really know why so I, I don't recommend doing that but that's trusting yourself in the meantime for sure um, you got to do it consistently so pick a time frame that works for you daily is ambitious but it also will make things happen faster you know if you started a YouTube channel and you were able to do a daily video then you're going to see things progress kind of fast but on the other hand, if you wanted to do like a YouTube channel or a Facebook uh, type thing and you could only do it once a week, then you could in that week, you could create something that's more extravagant looking, you know. So it's 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 really, you know, there's quality and there's quantity when it comes to it. Then and, and there's no right answer. It's not that every day is better than once a week. Um, certainly every day or once a week are better than once a month, because in that month, people can just forget. But it's got to come with that comes quality. So don't dilute the quality of your posts or whatever it is that you're making so that you can do it more often. And with this, uh, this it has to be a sustainable thing. We're still on number one. So there's consistent and then there's also persistent, meaning you can't stop. Don't start and then stop and then start and then stop. I know I did that. Do as I say, not as I do. Right. Um, start and keep going. So it's much better to do a post once a week every week all year long than it is to do a post every day for a month and then stop for a month and then do a post every day for a month and then stop every month you lose the momentum and you got to build it up again and I can tell you from firsthand that when I decided to come back and do daily fuel every day again uh, the first two weeks I was feeling the energy had kind of waned uh, you know pe people weren't noticing my posts people weren't really showing up to the lives and then all of a sudden it, the the energy came back the momentum came back and it wasn't because people were just like ah oh, he's a loser he's not doing it anymore I'm not gonna show up no it's more like Facebook stopped showing it to you uh, you the you know I stopped my momentum and the algorithm kind of forgot about me and then you're not there anymore but if I'm here every day then you see it every day so that's that uh, just it's got to be what's best for you and do it consistently and persistently so that it's sustainable sustainable that's number one number two is uh, be everywhere now I just said pick one or two or whatever and and do that one with all your effort but that doesn't mean have no presence everywhere else so let's say you pick uh, YouTube I'm just pulling things out of the air here you have a YouTube channel you're making a video once a week say and now you're doing this consistently you're uploading every Tuesday at three o'clock ish right don't don't kill yourself with that schedule this isn't NBC people aren't looking at the uh, you know, at the uh, at the TV guy to figure out when you're posting your next video that kind of matters but it doesn't you know uh, if you if you're posting every Tuesday that's great because people will get used to that but if it's three o'clock one week and five o'clock another week I seriously don't think that's the end of the world um, 
but be everywhere else. So it's okay to have a Facebook page, a Twitter account, or an Instagram, or you know, one or two or three, or even all of these things. It's okay to have them. And then uh, what you can do is one of two things. You can set them up so that anyone who lands on them will just get directed to your main thing. So you don't have to tweet every day, even though you have a Twitter. You don't have to post stuff to your Facebook page every day because you have one especially the Facebook page. What I would suggest is use a Facebook page as uh, something that's sort of a landing page for people who are new to you. They land there and there's a pinned post and there's a maybe a video or something and all the things on that Facebook page are pointing them to your real thing, whether it's your YouTube channel or your website or your Facebook group. That's what I do. So, uh, and then for Twitter or Instagram or things like that, you could uh, do, uh, you could use a, something like uh, Zapier or IFTTT. It means if this, then that. And what happens is you can uh, program these things so that when I post something here, it tweets it for me. So every time you upload a video to your YouTube channel, uh, IFTTT, it's IFTTT, if you're taking notes, dot com, right? Uh, IFTTT or Zapier will then send a tweet out uh, automatically uh, or, or post a, a thing to Instagram for you. So you can have yourself showing up on all the platforms, but you're really only working one. So that's, uh, that's number two. Uh, uh, oh, I, I wanted to add something to this because I, I asked, uh, what do you guys want to know about specifically? And uh, Mikey uh, Merzinski mentioned YouTube. Um, I don't know what about YouTube specifically, but I'm guessing because you're a musician that you want to know about doing music videos. And if you're posting things about your art, uh, or you're a musician and you're doing music videos or you're just, uh, you know, if you're a painter, then probably we're not talking about YouTube. Maybe we're talking about Instagram, you know? But you can have content too that's sort of complementary to it. So a good example is the, the music video stuff. Music videos are great, but they take a long time to make. You're probably not writing a new song or making a video for it every week. But what you can do in the interim between new music and new uh, music videos or even new paintings, because I'm sure painters can't just bang these things out every five seconds. So. Um, what you can do is create other content. You can do a talking head video where you talk about your process or you talk about your philosophy or you talk about your vision for the world. Or, you know, like if you're, if you're uh, like, I'm here doing this, the, the, the spiritual artist. So my artistic vision is tied to spirituality and the law of attraction. So I come on here and do daily fuel, but I'm not like teaching you guys how to paint every day. I don't, I don't care, you know, I do you do your thing. But I talk about spirituality and, and things like that every day. I'm tying my thing to that. And so you can create content about other things that are complementary to your art. And then you can make more, uh, more consistent content that way. And because the, then maybe your art piece takes a whole month to create or two months or however long. All right, so that's number two. I'll tell you, breath, breath. breath break. Okay, uh, number two, hey, you know, I changed the, uh, I don't know if you noticed, I was playing with the camera settings today. I noticed that the video was really dark because uh, I got this new lens. And so I changed the ISO settings to be a little bit brighter. And of course I do that on the day that I just took a mile walk to the garage and I'm driving around to get back here on time and I'm like a sweaty mess. So, you know, I, I wish this one was a little darker, but what are you gonna do? Um, here's, here's number three. Uh, how long have I been going on this? You know what? I've been going a while on this. I think I'm going to make number three its own thing tomorrow. I don't want to gloss over this in two minutes. And I see there's a lot of comments. So uh, number three is a completely different thing. I'm going to make that tomorrow's Daily Fuel. Um, it's about your relationship with your audience. Uh, and uh, well, that's what it's about. I'm not going to, if I, there's no reason to tell you, because then I could just do it. So let's go to the comments. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun when I'm all nutty because I just feel like uh, I feel like the energy is flying for me. Uh, I'm also in a really good mood because I'm going to be honest with you. I was nervous that the car was dead. I was nervous that it just seized or froze up. It's not a new car. And uh, the funny thing is we're planning on getting a new car soon. Uh, we've got uh, everything in the works to, to make this happen. But um, 
I, I need a couple of weeks or whatever to, to, to get to the point where it's like, yep, here, let's do it, right? Uh, but we're talking weeks, not like it's not in dream stage anymore. We're doing this. But the car is dead. I'm like, no, 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 dude, you can't die like two weeks before I'm ready to get the new one because I need you for two weeks at least. Um, and the funny thing is that it died and uh, they, they fixed it in case you're just joining. Uh, they fixed it. But it made me realize all of a sudden that, uh, wow, I really love this car and I want it to be a second car. It was like I was full, I was floundering on that and I didn't know. So uh, this gave me the contrast that I needed to be like, nope, I want that. And there's another gift. All right. So uh, comments. Sorry about that. Hola says Richard. Hi, Richard. Hi, Amy. Hi, Robin. Hi, Ray. Uh, you may be a mess, but you look good from here. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Ray Swan, no, he's a mess. <laughs> That's, that person's not showing up. Who said that? I could take some guesses, but uh, uh, who said that? I knew it was you! <laughs> I knew I knew that was Tony, except uh, he, he's not usually here on the live, so I wasn't 100% sure, but man, I, 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 I knew it was you. Um, hi. Uh, okay, Robin says, yeah, for the universe, has your back. Cool. Has to learn to have faith in that. Absolutely. Uh, oh, I have to learn to have faith in that. Yeah, we all do, uh, Robin. Uh, Marsha, hi, Bobby. Sorry I'm late. Oh, that's okay. Um, I'll start over. You're late. All right, we're starting over. I'm kidding. Okay, uh, I took that joke way too long. Uh, Robin, that helps when future problems arise. What? Trusting, I guess? I don't know. Uh, Richard says, endurance. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I had a page with 1,300 and I killed the page. Oh, uh, that's that's rough. Uh, a page or a group? Um, I had a group. Uh, like I, I, I've told you guys this. I, I ran a different group several years ago. It, had, it was up to 1,600 something. And uh, I... I closed it um, not because it wasn't working for me because it was it was literally the story that I tell you is a first-hand story that uh, you, you have to be talking about the thing that's really authentic to you because if you're not then you're gonna surround yourself with people who want stuff out of you that you don't want to give and that's what happened I created it for entrepreneurs to learn how to do video because it was kind of what I wanted to talk about and uh, and then they all wanted that apparently and then I got to the point where I was just like I don't want to do this anymore I don't like this and uh, now I'm here. Yeah, so that's that's rough when you build an audience and it gets big and grows, but it's not the right audience. It's uh, it's still better, I would say, to kill it and start from scratch with the correct audience than to try to uh, try to change yourself to fit the audience that you have. It's not sustainable. It's just not. Danielle's here. Hi. How are you? She wrote an essay. Good. I'm glad somebody's writing essays for me. Hey, everyone. I'm in the same boat fixing my car ah that stinks i hope uh, i hope yours comes out well too the universe is forcing me out of the workforce and into entrepreneurship interesting uh, i can't commute to my child care job so i started working from home which is allowing me to make more time for my art wonderful see gifts it seems like oh i'm not allowed to do this so now i have to do this but look at that i have uh, more time for this art thing and now you're transitioning into entrepreneurship that's awesome Good for you. Uh, Jennifer is here. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Hello, Bobby. Hi, everyone. Good. Thanks, Jennifer, for being here. Uh, always nice to see you. Robin says, be everywhere else. Is that like me posting to Quantasy? Op artists, artists in isolation, and the Baltimore, Washington Artist Collective, et cetera, et cetera. Different groups. Actually, yeah, that's a really good point. Um, uh, yeah, that would fit more with today's. So uh, different groups, right? Groups are great. So if you belong to different groups, certainly you can post in different groups. Uh, uh, and then what I would suggest, if you're using Facebook uh, for this, obviously, right? Um, create what's called a, you know what? Maybe I should really go into this. Uh, I should go into this now. Nah, it doesn't fit with that. Uh, you create your profile funnel so that when people land on your profile, the top banner image and your profile image in the middle and that featured thing off on the side, th that big square, all point to your main thing. If you go to my profile, my regular Bobby Donahue profile on Facebook, take a look at it. Look at the top banner, look at my picture and look at the uh, thing and even the posts in my uh, timeline. Um, not all of them, but many of them 
point to this group, right? Certainly the banner, the, the picture, and the featured picture are all about the group. This way, if uh, if people see me in this group or people see me in that group and they're like, who's this guy? And they click on my face uh, and now they're on my profile. Well, it's, I'm all about the spiritual artist, so they come here. So yes, Robin, you can do that. You can post in different groups, but then have your profile point people to where you want them to go, which is your YouTube channel, your Instagram, whatever. It's called a profile funnel. Um, Jennifer, I'm glad your car is fixed. Me too. Thank you. Marsha. Hey, Marsha. Consistency and organization is extremely important. Uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. I have three sources for advertising, so I keep a separate log on each. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> well, when I'm a mess, I'm just a mess. Um, live videos are fun. Some are updated monthly and some every few days. People get to recognize your ads eventually before they even read them. Yeah, uh, that's true. Wait, I missed the beginning because I had to sneeze. I, I have three sources for advertising, so I keep separate logs on each. That's that's uh, that's that's good. I didn't think to uh, talk about that. To uh, keep track of how the things you're doing uh, are doing. You know, if you're posting a video to YouTube every week, that's great if it's starting to, uh, you know, create some traction for you. Now, I mean, after a while, starting anything from scratch is going to take a while. You can't do it for two weeks or two months and expect, you know, a thousand people to show up. I've been doing this group for five weeks where we haven't even hit 600 yet. So it takes time to uh, to attract the correct audience. Uh, partly also because I was trying to figure out even who that correct audience was. I know now it's you guys. So, uh, I just I just need more of you guys. You guys got friends? Um, so yeah, but definitely if you've got something going now, especially if it's advertising and you're spending money on it, advertising should be bam, just getting something for you uh, as quickly as possible. You don't want to be spending money on ads for months and not have anything. So definitely keep track of that. And uh, the fact that you're keeping track of them each separately uh, is very smart, Marsha. Good for you. The video lighting looks excellent to me, says Robin. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm looking at it, it looks, uh, looks pretty sharp. I, I seem brighter on my screen. I was nervous that if I changed the setting that uh, and got myself brighter that the background wouldn't be as rich blue as I want it to be. Uh, I'm probably gonna be playing around with a new lens again soon. I'm not completely thrilled with, with this one, but it's, uh, it's, it's closer. Um, Jennifer, I love the video lighting, well, thank you. Uh, you always look good, says Jennifer. Well, thank you. Ah, flattery will get you everywhere with me, Jennifer. Uh, and everybody else. Um, so, uh, Ray said, so your car knew. It wanted to let you know how valuable it is. Oh, I like that. Yes, thank you. Sometimes you need to listen to other things in life to see what you need to do to fix that. Listening is important. Yeah. Your car wanted you to know how valuable it is. It did. You know what? I had, like I said, I was waffling on that. And suddenly I was just like, nah. I love this car. It's uh, you know, it's 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 just it's it's a unique car and I just I really like it. Ah, Richard, Facebook page what you said. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh caught me by surprise says Mikey. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> what did? Uh, I'll have to catch the replay. Oh, you missed the thing. Yeah, I was saying I, I had it scheduled like always, but I was 10 minutes late and Ecamm was like, 10 minutes is all you get. You didn't start it, we're closing this. Um, so I, I had to start a new uh, video. What's the word? Yeah, that, live. Jennifer, it's always nice being here for the live. Uh, thank you, I'm, I'm very glad you're here. Robin, I post to different groups the artworks of mine that fit their themes. That's important too, my op art pieces to that group. Yeah, that's really cool, uh, op art. Is there, are there pieces that you do that you don't post here? Because I can't imagine that any of them wouldn't fit here. Um, I'm always excited to see some of the uh, geographical stuff that you've done uh, in the past. I don't know if that's what you mean, uh, op art. Um, Robin and my abstract things to that group, cool. Amy, this is awesome information. Uh, thank you. I think I might like to go old school and do a monthly magazine as it would suit my type of audience. That's really interesting that you said that because um, that was something that I'm thinking of with Quantacy. It's 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 almost like the if it were a uh, if it were a magazine type thing or but video and uh, I'm, I'm I'm almost there with that. Um, 
that that's interesting um bless you oh oh, because i was gonna sneeze (laughs) i thought you were like oh this is great information bless you but you meant because i was gonna sneeze um robin but i don't have a website because i don't know what i want to say there not sure why that is but that's okay Uh, I think it's because I haven't figured out how to have things printed for others to purchase if they want. Um, You can Google that, like uh, art prints, print art prints. Uh, Look at uprinting.com. That's that's one you can do. Uh, Or or you can look up... um, The word just went right out of my head. When, 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 when you sell a one-off, you know, so if you put your print up, right, people can order that print and then this third-party company will print one of them and ship it to them. This way you don't have to buy, you know, like a hundred of them and keep them in your bedroom. You don't want to have to do that. Unless you do want to have to do that. You know, if you've got the flow and the inventory and you can do the processing and stuff, that you'll make more money that way. But uh, if you're, if you only want to sell one at a time, what is that called? Oh man, the word was just in my head. When you when you have one printed and sent, there's a word for that. Um, we, we could talk more about that, and, and I'll probably have more information on that for you tomorrow. I didn't know we were going to go there. Danielle, very true. I thought my car was a lemon. Found out my dad gifted me something worth value. Always pay attention to signs. See that? That's nice. Um, Kirsten's here. Hi. Uh, magazine. Adobe allows you to publish interactive design files now. I've been thinking of doing an interactive lookbook of my paintings with link to e-commerce of choice. On-demand printing, that's it, thank you. Um, yeah, I'll go, back, I'll go back to that in a second. Kirsten, can you uh, send me a link to the Adobe thing that does that? Are you talking about something through InDesign? Uh, I'm not really sure what, uh, when you say it allows you to do that now, because uh, I've looked into that and you need some plugins or something or another. Um, but if the if it's something that they just came out with, I uh, could you send me the link in Messenger, please? I would appreciate that. Yes, uh, Robin, on demand printing. Just Google that on demand printing art prints, and there are p- plenty of services. Uh, uh, I can't think of the words, but uh, that you'll find on Google that that do that. You can upload your art to them, and then set a price, and then when somebody orders it, they get a print this big or this big or this big or whatever sizes you pick. Uh, that are their choices and um and somebody orders one that company will print it wrap it ship it and pay you that's it all you do is get paid and you know make the art so uh that's it okay wonderful InDesign. okay i'll uh, i'll look that up thank you kirsten yes did it in half an hour all right nice job guys i don't know well, everybody, everybody chipped in today. Let me see what do we got here. Oh, there's, there's. Uh... Oh, look at that. There are comments on here that aren't showing up on there. Well, that's weird. Does that happen? I should look here before I say goodbye. Very true. Magazine. No, InDesign. Uh, Richard says booby. Oh no, no, that just showed up now. Okay, no, they're they're showing up there. Booby, <laughs> booby prize. Uh, oh, Richard gets the booby prize now. I, I was just about to give it to Kirsten, but Richard swooped in right under the wire and stole it. So, uh, yeah. So, Richard, uh, you get the booby prize tonight. Thanks very much, guys. Uh, today is St. Patrick's Day. So, up, uh, up. Nah, see that? I kept talking, and Amy got it now. Yes. Sometimes you skip comments. Do I? You can tell me I did. I'll go back and read them, especially if they're, uh, you know. Oh, Richard said, my pet page for animals is up to 300. I have it private for now. Haven't checked number on my art page. Thanks for the reminder. You're welcome. My comments about a website is in reference to your comments about funneling. How did I skip these? Oh, you know what happens? I'll tell you what happens. I'm, I read a comment and then I'm talking on it and you guys are commenting more and the comments move up and I forget to scroll down uh, back to where I was and I just look at the next comment that I see. So I skip them. Uh, feel free to tell me that I missed some because I don't, I don't like missing them. Uh, anyway, now who gets the booby prize? Oh, back to Richard. Okay, shenanigans. All right, guys, I'm out of here. We got corned beef and stuff upstairs and I'm gonna eat it. I just got some soda bread. Irish soda bread is like one of my favorite things, and I eat it once a year now. And uh, Marsha, time for a green beer. There you go. 
Uh, oh, now Marsha gets the booby prize. See how this works? I just keep yapping and you guys keep typing. You never know who's going to win that prize. <sighs> There's no prize. Okay, guys, have a good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye.